Simon, welcome to Stockport County. It must have been a whirlwind few days for you. Yeah, um, that's the nature of football, isn't it? Um, obviously, really, really fast moving thing. Um, delighted to be here. And um, yeah, obviously, now I just want to get going. Looking forward to cracking on and getting on with the job in hand. Tell us about your, your management style, your preferred style of play. What can county fans expect? Well, I think um, something that's really important to me is that, you know, I think every team, every club needs a, a side that's playing on the pitch that's committed. You know, I think a team that wants to represent, you know, what they're working on for with pride, I think that would be really important. And for me, you know, the, the, the recipe and the ingredients for anything that's going to be successful is, is built by hard work. So I'm certainly looking to make sure that a team that's stepping over the white line and representing county will be a hard working one. And um, that'll be certainly at the forefront of, of, of my work daily. You've had lots of opportunities to move on previously. You've turned down opportunities to pursue first team coaching where you were. You've had offers from the Football League as well. What is it about county that's got you excited enough to make this move? And it is a big move, clearly. Yeah, I think... Uh, that you know the one the one thing that really stood out to me was you know there's a real strong fan fan base you know a loyal set of supporters and you know when I bounced bounced the idea and the notion around to some people who are in the north everyone was like wow you know that that is a place where you can really get it going and you know the fans will be right behind you so I think first and foremost that was what stood out to me straight away and that was my, a lot of the feedback was this is an opportunity from that point of view that you know might be too good to to not get involved with and then. You know, obviously, there's a really, really positive project to be part of here, and I'm, you know, I'm aware there's been some work put in place this season with that, and really, I just want to come in and, and of course, put my spin on things, but you know, continue a lot of the good work that's been done on and off the pitch. You've got great experience as well at, at this level and the level just above, and and I can actually remember you playing at Edgeley Park with Boston. I think Julian Jochim scored the only goal, so yeah. that must have been an influencing factor. Did you remember the, remember coming to Edgeley Park? I yeah, think. I do, I do. I think I set the goal up. I'm not sure that'll go down too well, but um, yeah, listen, I think um, it's it's a club that's got it's got a rich history, and um, listen, it's um, it's been through some difficult times, and I think it's on it's on an upward curve now, and it's great to come and be part of that upward curve and. You know, I'm absolutely, I'm proud as punch to be, to be chose to represent, you know, this club and manage its team that step through out every week. So, you know, and I think obviously the, the aim is to get it as close, you know, as close as it can to, to them glory days and, and when it was punching, you know, a really high level of football. And certainly I'll be giving everything to, you know, try and get it back to, to where it was. There's not many managers get to take over a club that's already in the top five. Normally you come in and you're firefighting, but you, you come in, the club's, uh, as you say, doing, doing pretty well at the moment. But does that create additional pressure coupled with the fact that, you, you know, there are big shoes to fill? Yeah, I mean, listen, any job that you inherit is, is going to have, you know, any, any potential problems, if you were. But I must say, listen, I'm someone that just wants to come in, be positive, you know, look at what's great about the opportunity look at what's great about the squad, look at what's great about the infrastructure and just give it its best, you know, and just encourage people to work as hard as they can, be the best version of themselves. And I think if we do that, you know, looking at looking at where we are, as you've rightly pointed out, what I'm inheriting, we're in a really positive position. It'd just be about being positive with that and grabbing it and trying to take it as far as it can go. Um, and that will start day to day. And then hopefully that day to day work ethic and what we're working towards, you know, will get us to where we want to be eventually. You've got um, a stellar reputation, if, well, not just a reputation, but a track record for bringing players from youth teams through to first teams at a very high level. I'm thinking of the likes of, of, of Ben White and Aaron Conley and Solly March, all these who have gone on to play first team football at Brighton. Is that, is that going to be a big part of your plans at County, that kind of youth development? Yeah, I think so. I think, um, listen, I think the two, you know, winning football and developing individuals, I think goes hand in hand nowadays. Yeah. So certainly for me, it's, listen, everything is about the team. You know, the team has to step through on the pitch and it has to have the ability to win games of football. You know, that is, that is the nature of first team football. But part of that process, you know, I take great pride in, in playing a, a part and help people fulfil their potential, you know, as it happens, young footballers. So, you know, my, my, my role is it is no matter what team you're working with, you know, is to help players improve. And yeah, and you rightly point out, I think I've got a good track record of that. And I, I believe with the with that individual improvement, you know, you can't not collectively improve the team as well. So certainly from my point of view, yeah, it is part of the job in hand and that's something I'm also really excited about. And, you know, developing young talent and, and helping people achieve, achieve their dreams 
you know, being a professional footballer and a great one is, is really one of my motivating drives. On the flip side, just playing devil's advocate for a moment, uh, the average age of our team at the moment is around 28. Yeah. Is there a concern about, you know, dealing with those senior players, those, those hardened pros perhaps? No, you know, I think, uh, you know, I've, I've been a professional myself, you know, for a long time. Um, and at Brighton, I've had spells working with the first team, um, which were, you know, they, they were great. They were great challenges. But, you know, I, I don't believe I've always worked with, you know, younger players. I've had a really eclectic mix, right. um, you know, a nice blend of experiences working at the top in the Premier League and also drawing on my own experiences, you know, as a National League League Two player as well. So I think I've got a really good blend of experiences um, and, and different levels of, of player. And certainly, you know, I think that can only stand me in good stead moving forwards. Tell us about the makeup of your backroom staff. Uh, I'm sure it's not entirely complete yet, but uh, just your immediate um, supportive team of, of, of Mark McGee and obviously Dave Conlon staying in post. How's, yeah. how's that all come about? Yeah, well, Mark's someone of, you know, he's got a great experience in the game. You know, he's a top playing career, you know, managerial career. So I think that's nice for me to, you know, to have around and, you know, bounce that experiences that Mark, you know, has into, into some of perhaps some of my decision making. Um, it just gives me a different perspective, really. And then, of course, you know, Dave, Dave's in, he knows the players, he knows the group, he knows the environment, uh, and that can only be a benefit to me. So I think it's a team that's got a real good blend of different experiences, and hopefully it's a team, you know, in the short term can, can sustain, you know, a, a really positive run of results, hopefully. It's perhaps an unfair question, but the fans will want me to ask it anyway. But in terms of your immediate plans, do you anticipate any any signings coming in, particularly in the in the short term? Yeah, I think we're, um, obviously a chance to work with a group. You know, you really get to understand and get to know the players you're working with once you've actually worked with them. So, I think first and foremost, the absolutely respectful thing from my point of view would be to you know forge a relationship with the guys that are in a building uh, and really take things from there, really, and just assess where things are at. Mark Stott has obviously invested so heavily in not only the team on the pitch but also the surroundings we're in here at the training ground at Carrington. He's investing in the stadium as well, uh, the move to full-time football. Um, but obviously that comes with, with high expectations and, and big ambitions as well. So for you in, in the sort of short and medium term, what's success going to look like for you and, and, and what are the targets for this season particularly? Yeah, I think, listen, we are, we are in a promotion push. I think there's no doubt about that and that is something that's, you know, absolutely exciting for me to come into. Um, I think longer term, I touched on earlier that we, you know, I want to be part of a, a process and part of a team of people that get this club, you know, back to where it wants to be. So, but I think initially in the short term, what we have to do is, you know, build on a lot of the good work that's been put in place. You know, the, the players have clearly put a lot of hard work into the season so far, you know, an impressive cup run. And we've also got, you know, we're, we're in a strong position in the league. So, I think short term we want to build on them, get the team as confident as it can, you know, and playing football that really people want to watch and want to enjoy as well as winning games. So, you know, the short term that's certainly where we want to be and, and mid term we want to we want to be getting closer back, you know, to as high a level of football as we can and obviously that would come with, you know, promotion out of the nationwide conference. I mean we've only met this morning, but um, I think the thing that that strikes me is your enthusiasm. I mean the the, the county fans um, are going to see a lot of that, I think, in the in the coming months. Yeah, I think so. Listen, I, I'm passionate about football and you know, w winning football. And I, I I was lucky enough to win the conference as a, twice as a player in my playing career. So, you know, I want to try and bring that experience into the mix as well, and you know, chuck that one in so that we can use that as an advantage. Um, so yeah, look, you know, I can't wait to get going. I'm I'm proud to be here. I'm proud to represent this club, and I do believe you know it is a it is a great club. You know, I can see that looking in and. It didn't take me long to realise what a great opportunity this was. And, um, you know, I will sweat blood in trying to get it to where it needs to be. We wish you all the very best. Welcome to Stockport County. Thank Sam. you. Good to be here.